and three eyes open. Welcome back. Uh, and what's your favorite team, my friend? Ohio State. All right. And how long have you been a fan of those? Oh, uh, ever since I was a kid. Yeah. And, and what is it about them? Is it just the loyalty, the fans? Is it Ann Arbor? You know, is, is, it, is it like um, uh, Columbus and uh, rivalry or anything like that? Or what, what um, is it? I think it's like the, just the team. They're constantly just really good. Hey guys, I got a, uh, something a little bit different for you guys. Um, do you guys believe in hypnotists? Um, I'm a little bit skeptical and, uh, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen, but we have somebody coming over today and uh, he's going to hypnotize me. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, Vern, how are you doing? Not too bad, how are you? All right, Richard the Incredible Hypnotist. Okay. Well, Good to see you, thanks you for too. inviting me over. Thanks for coming. All right. Come on in. Ready to get hypnotized? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So a lot of people don't understand what hypnosis is and what it's used for. They just have the image of like clucking like a chicken or barking <laughs> like a dog, okay. But um, actually there's a therapeutical side to hypnosis. Obviously there's a fun side, therapeutical side. The best way to sort of explain what hypnosis is, is that you and I both now are in a sort of um, normal level of suggestibility. So if I suggest something to you right now, you may or may not do it. But okay. under hypnosis, you're in a heightened level of suggestibility. So you're more inclined to do it. And if you do it, you don't know why you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> so it's crazy. So I use the word sleep, but you're not actually sleeping. You have this heightened sense of awareness. You will always know where you are. You will always choose to do something or not do something. But it feels like guided meditation. So if you've ever meditated, at Not the really, but... yeah, yeah. So it's like meditation with guided suggestion. I want you to imagine and realize and concentrate on every word I say. Now, in a few moments, as you feel yourself completely rested and at peace with yourself, I want you to hang on to every word I say and accept truth as reality. Every word I say will, in fact, become your truth and your reality, and you'll listen intently to every word I say. Now in a few moments, but not yet, as you feel a sense of relaxation, I'm going to count to three, but not before. When I do reach three, I just simply want you to open your eyes, but not yet on three. You'll simply open your eyes. You'll look at the object you were looking at moments ago. And as soon as you find it, allow your eyes to close and feel yourself relax further and deeper. Now I want you to understand every time you open and close your eyes, you'll think of sleep. And in fact, every time you open and close your eyes, allow yourself to go further. I want you to understand from this point forward that you're going to realize that the number two is missing from your memory banks. I want you to realize from this point forward as you simply relax that your number two is completely and utterly vanished from your memory banks. I want you to realize that and whenever you count from one up to ten, you're going to simply realize the number two has disappeared, vanished and simply is missing from your memory banks and that you know to be true. Now from this point forward, I'll count from one up to ten with you. We'll count from one up to ten. Of course, the number two is completely missing, you'll count 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Even if you were to use your fingers or even if you were to use an object in the room, you realize there never was, never should be, and never will be a number two in your memory banks. Nod your head if you understand. I want you to understand the number two is completely and utterly vanished. Even if you were to add up or count backwards, you'll understand number two was never there. You'll simply count 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, not realizing the number two ever did exist. Now I'll just count to three, I'll have you open your eyes, one, two, and three, eyes open, good to see you back. It's kind of a sense of relaxation, isn't it? You feel like you're sort of here, but you're not here, like you're drifting away, and sleep, just relax. Closing your eyes, drifting even further, understanding when you count from one up to ten, you'll realize the number two has completely and utterly disappeared from your memory banks, one, two, and three, wide open. So it's just going to demonstrate that sometimes people can remember things or forget things, in the subconscious state and in the subconscious mind. Like your brain is almost like a computer hard drive. It remembers everything, everything you do since birth. And one of the things it remembers is like it plays movies in your mind of just all the good things that happened in your life, maybe some of the bad things, but it plays everything since birth and it really does control everything we do. And one of the things we create is like an amnesia. So just like you, Vern, just to, um, do me a favor and just, um, you can use your fingers or use my fingers, whatever, but just, um, just concentrate and, and count from one up to 10, realizing the number two has completely disappeared. One, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Keep counting. You got it, man. Do you want to start again? 
seem to miss something out there. Try again, mate. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, so I've always had eleven fingers, but do you want, it's weird. It's just where I'm from. It's that like European thing. Do you want to try... Uh, it's weird. Huh? Do you want to try backwards from uh, from ten down to one? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one, um, zero. That's kind of bizarre. But let's try something else because that's um. Let's just try something else a minute. Are you good at just basic math, like simple math? I think so. Nothing crazy math, just pretty easy. So, like, if I said um, three plus three. Six. Uh, yeah. So, uh, like, if I said um, five plus five. Ten. All right. And uh, and uh, if I said four plus four. Eight. Good. And if I said one plus one. Sleep. Just relaxing, my friend. The deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. In fact, I want you to realize something very crazy about uh, about your living room today. I want you to realize whenever your eyes open, if ever you see me touch myself on the nose, you're going to realize I'm breaking wind so badly that it stinks to high heaven. It's pretty offensive to you. It's pretty nasty. You're going to realize I smell so disgusting. But only when I touch myself on the nose, you're going to realize I'm letting rip right on your sofa. And it just has the most awful smell you've ever smelled in your life. It's like really nasty, crappy sort of diarrhea kind of smell. Only whenever I touch myself on the nose. We're going to talk about uh, hypnosis anyway. One, two, three. Eyes open. All I was saying was, um, you'd asked a question earlier on about, like, if this is mind control or not, or, or anything is, is um, like, <clears throat> just like, um, if anything, like, you know, can this be permanent? Or does the mind actually <clears throat> snap out of it? Or does it actually um, become, um, <clears throat> like, um, is the mind suggestible to, are you okay? Uh, I smell something. I don't know. <sighs> What's that, sir? Uh, something stinks. Oh, okay. I was just saying, like, you know, like you asked earlier on about, like, the mind and can it help with... <clears throat> oh, jeez. <laughs> can it help with um, a level of um, <clears throat> sort of nasty and... <laughs> oh, is that you? What's that, sir? No, we're doing an interview, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to be that, I'm not going to come in here and do... <clears throat> oh, man, it's making my eyes water. Yeah. Just go crazy. Just relax and sleep. Relax and sleep. You're going to realize from this point forward, you are one of the most loyal fans of the beautiful football team called OSU. I want you to understand Ohio State is the team to follow. You're going to realize that that team is just magical to you. You love the team deeply. Now, if anybody asks you about Michigan or anything like that, or the Wolverines, or they suck. You don't like them at all. You never have done, never will do. I never want to, in fact. I want you to realize that from this point forward, Ohio State is the team to follow. It's the one that you love the most. And from this point forward, should anybody point out anything about Michigan or anything like that, it's just the crappiest team you ever, ever came about. In fact, you're going to realize you're even wearing the wrong shirt today. You put it on by accident. You really meant to put on a different shirt. And that's Ohio. So that's the Buckeyes for you. Nod your head if you understand. They truly and really should be the world champions both now and in the future every single year and you're going to be the super fan the loyal fan the bigger fan than any fan has ever been nod your head if you understand one two and three eyes open welcome back so just talking about some of the things about football and and stuff and i see you know you've got a lot of memorabilia around and everything else uh, and what's your favorite team my friend ohio state all right and how long have you been a fan of those oh Ever since I was a kid. Yeah. And, and what is it about them? Is it just the loyalty, the fans? Is it Ann Arbor? You know, is, is, it, is it like um, uh, Columbus and uh, rivalry or anything like that? Or what, what um, is it? I think it's like the, just the team. They're constantly just really good. Yeah. Um, and they always have a good coach. Okay. Um, and they get so much talent. Uh, okay. It's just unbelievable. And, and, and so out there, what, what kind of teams suck then? What, what, what teams are really crappy out there? Well, it's, it's a huge rivalry between... Ohio State and the team up north. All right, what um, team is that? Um, well, they don't. We don't really say, you know, the name. Um, oh. it's, we call it the team up north because we don't like to, you know, say the name. But I'll say it. Um, so Michigan Wolverines. Um, oh God. It's a huge rivalry. And it's, yeah. It is. It's always like such a good game to watch. It's mm. it's huge, and um, we always seem to beat them. 
Oh, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. So you always you're always cheering on Ohio State. Oh yeah. Always and are very loyal to the Buckeyes. Oh yeah. Yeah, because anything I noticed when I came in here earlier on is that you actually have uh, Michigan on your shirt. That was all just like that. Uh, that that's the only thing. I don't know if, where you got that from, but um, that's not really showing any loyalty to no, me. No, it's not. That's um. What I don't is remember that? putting this on. Where do you get that from? I mean, that's horrible. Is that? Can I take it off? I would. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, just sleep and relax. I got you. So Vern, so um, you were hypnotized. I was just. I felt like I was sleeping. Felt like you were sleeping, and and um. Do you remember me asking you about sports and like your football team and everything else? Um, before we did this, I remember. Oh, when I first came in? Mm hmm Okay, so uh, your favorite football team is uh, obviously, Michigan? Obviously. Yeah. It's weird how hypnosis can change that. Do you, do you know that you're an OSU fan? <laughs> <laughs> no, check. I know I'm not. No? Check, check that out. Check that out a minute. That's you hypnotized right there. I want you to look at that. So just talking about some of the things about football... And, and stuff, and I see, you know, you've got a lot of memorabilia around and everything else. Uh, and what's your favorite team, my friend? Ohio State. All right, and how long have you been a fan of those? Oh, ever since I was a kid. Yeah, and, and what is it about them? Is it just the loyalty, the fans, is it Ann Arbor, you know, is, is, it, is it like um, uh, Columbus and, and rivalry or anything like that, or what? what um, I think it's like the, just the team, they're constantly just really good. What? Yeah. Um, and they always have a good coach. Okay. Um, and they get so much talent, yeah. You know? Okay. It's just unbelievable. And, and, and so out there, what, what kind of teams suck then? What, what, what teams are really crappy out there? Well, it, it's a huge rivalry between Ohio State and the team up north. All right. What um, team is that? Um, well, they don't, we don't really say, you know. What the, the name, hell? Um, oh. it, we call it the team up north because we don't like to, you know, say the name, but I'll say it. Um, so Michigan Wolverines. Oh, God. It's a huge rivalry. Are you Serious? You did awesome. Uh, yeah, very. You're very susceptible. You got a good level of imagination, creativity. We have different levels for hypnosis, and the best level is called somnambulistic, and that's the level you're at, my friend. What so does that mean? It, it basically means that <laughs> that you're able to be hypnotized pretty quickly, pretty easily. You can drift into a level of relaxation. You're able to imagine and create in your own mind. So this would so this would be a benefit and, and would work for you on other things that you want to control from your mind to translate into the rest of what you do. Wow. So you are a, an awesome, awesome candidate for hypnosis. Wow, that was um, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, watching that playback, I'm speechless. I can't believe that happened. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I mean, that was a non-believer before, but watching that playback, that's unreal um i want to say thank you so much for coming out no problem um this guy's amazing uh check him out i'll put a link down below so you can find him and uh you know to all my michigan fans i'm a i'm a wolverine uh blue and gold all the way so i don't know what that was don't take it to heart i'm like bleed you know maize and blue so don't get me wrong i'm a wolverines fan so thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Ask Vern. Um, again, we got some good questions. Um, I'm just going to start it out here. 